Next up, best debut indie. The nominees are The Artful Escape, The Forgotten City, Kina, Bridge of Spirits, Sable, Valheim. I have heard of two of these fucking games. <laughs> I I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw this nom- these nominees, I'm like, I guess it's slim pickings when you're talking about debut. So like I I don't know how many games launched this yeah, year. It's gotta be acclaim. Well, it has to be a studio's first game. Exactly. So, so. Uh, yeah, by nature, it's going to be lesser known things. Uh, or but just or just like a very niche list of things, you know. Yeah. A lot of studios around nowadays are pumping out games, and they've been around for at least a year or two. Yeah. Um, Stephen, what'd you vote for? Um, personally, I think this category is a given. I think uh, so. My personal vote and my prediction is the same, and that is Kana Bridge of Spirits. I um, wholeheartedly agree. I yeah yeah. I, I I really don't think it's a contest, and the reason why is I feel like it's not just the most well known, but it's also gorgeous. It is a game that uh, the studio behind it is sort of ingrained in the video game industry. They they got their start making fan a, a fan animation for the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, um, and that gained so much popularity that um, they were like, okay, well, we want to make a game. And uh, they've gotten tremendous community support. Uh, Kena is is beautiful. It's gotten great reviews. Um, you know, despite some, like, technical hiccups, um, the artistic direction, the, um, the animation, the world building, uh, all of it, I feel like Kena is the clear ween- winner here. Wiener. <laughs> it's the clear wiener. <laughs> I don't think anybody likes a clear wiener, Stephen. But um, yeah, I, I wholeheartedly agree there. I mean, the game is, it's been called Pixar level animation quality uh, in just terms of looks as well. Um, it was very much skeptical when the game was announced with, uh, it was a new developer and it was shown off at the PlayStation 5 showcase. I mean, this game had a lot riding on it and they took off. I mean, I don't yeah. think anyone can short them as to what they put out this year. Kudos to them. Yeah, I, I think they're going to run away with it. Yeah, and another thing that I think is kind of interesting, just this is a random side note, but uh, the fact that this game that looks so charming and adorable um, is actually kind of like a hardcore game. It's been compared mm-hmm. to to Dark Souls um, in, in terms of its difficulty and the boss battles and things like that. Um I think that that also goes to show how ingrained in gaming culture uh, these developers are and how they kind of understand gamers. Mm -hmm. And um, like for this to be their debut game and for it to be as gorgeous as it is, um, for it to be as, uh, I guess, gamer-centric, I hate that term gamer, but still, uh, I feel like, this is a phenomenal debut and I am very excited to see what they do next. 